So guys, we're having to do this because <laughs> we were so excited underwater that I have no idea what we were able to capture and we, what we were not able to capture. We really hope that we were able to like do a good job showing you guys, but it may have just been a bunch of <laughs> That's actually exactly what that sounded like. <laughs> so we got onto the boat. After they give you get the tickets, you wait, they're calling your number, you're building anticipation, yeah. you they're guys giving saw you, all that. They're giving you all the instructions so that way like you know you're not supposed to touch the shark, stay within like away at like, four meters away, yada 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 yada. Okay. Great. Then we get onto the boat, and it's like this skinny boat, and you're having to like cram into this. And then it starts to very gently paddle into the water. You see the oars yeah. digging into the super blue, crystal clear water. I'm talking like a royal blue that is so rich and so clear. It was really deep. Like yeah. that was something that was surprising was the, the water color was so rich. And I want to say that that's the whole thing for the entire Philippines. There has yeah, not been a single true. body of water I have gotten into in this country that hasn't been out of this world blue. And their beer is amazing. Yeah. San Miguel. <laughs> so, anyway, they paddle you out, and it's not far. It's like three minutes paddling out. And then they're like, okay, you get into the water, and immediately as you start going in... Oh, wait, wait, you can't even, you can't even jump that far. I'm sorry. They're like, all right, everyone jump in. Strong swimmers, take off your life jackets. And you're like, what? I can take it off? And literally, I've never seen a whole group of people strip out of their life jackets so fast. It was we just like, cool zoom, boom. <laughs> we had a cool group of people. Yeah. So that's it. Everybody took their life jackets off, threw themselves into the water, and immediately the moment we went in, the best way that I can describe how I felt is the moment that my snorkel touched the water, I felt like I was in a YouTube video. That sounds weird. Right now, I'm in a YouTube video. It was YouTube videoception. <laughs> but you know when something just doesn't even look real? I yeah. had my snorkel on, and I felt like I was in one of those CGI, like fake worlds. You didn't feel like if you were to stick your hand out, you would actually touch something touch that a big. Touch so, Nuts. and you're watching them feed, and it just so happened that when we got into the water, there were two really large whale sharks already in the water, feeding right in front of us. So it wasn't like we had to gently wait until one swam our direction. They were just there. And so that to me was really overwhelming. And then this is where I feel like we need to explain what happens. <laughs> because then you're just overwhelmed with emotions. You're in their world. No idea. So, oh, they heard me say "world" when they started singing. It's so funny. I love so, Filipino people. So it was like going into a whole new world under the water, yeah. and then you're in their area. So they're coming in and swimming right near you. I am losing my marbles. I am so excited. I'm like basically about to cry. I'm just so happy literally every time I was like oh no go like like get in between like the animal and the, and the camera so that way I can take a picture because that's usually how it works and then that would go like if you guys are the camera which you are the, the, she'd literally go and like run away and I'm just like I, I couldn't take a picture exactly like that oh my god oh my god okay and so then what happens is you're using snorkels but I'm like this and then I get excited, and so I like breathe in and I do this, but then I'm my snorkel is now in the water, so I'm just breathing in salt water. <laughs> yeah, it was oh. great. And it was literally like, I never expected the whale sharks to get this close to you. No. Like, it, like all the instructions were like, stay four meters away, yeah, yeah. And the guides were just like, they'll tell you when you get too far away from the boat. They did not like, they did a good job keeping people off the animals, but like, yeah. as long as you weren't actively trying to touch the animals, they didn't really care because the thing is, the animals will actively touch you. Yeah, they as a matter of fact, I feel so bad that this happened. So before environmental people out there listen, I get you, I'm an environmental person too. But what happened was I am pinned against the boat and a whale shark came about from behind me and I was watching the one in front of me and I'm swimming, I'm wading water, I'm not wearing a life jacket and I kicked something that I thought was another human being until I looked down and I'm like, oh my God. Because I realized it's like this giant 18 meter whale shark that is now coming super close and I'm having to actively like back paddle. Dude. And like everyone's having to actively back paddle because we obviously like don't want to interrupt like what they're doing. Like yeah. obviously they're already are being interrupted. Them. They're already being interrupted. But 
we didn't want to add to that as little as possible and everyone is trying to swim like swim towards them to take a picture but then if they got too close everyone's trying to swim away so you don't touch them and they would like not give you an option there was one guy that he was literally like he's here and i'm here and he pops up like this and i'm like oh my god because a wall of gray just comes behind him and i like tap him on the goggles and i'm like and then he tapped me on the goggles and was like and i was like what and there was another massive one and we were like swimming like trying to like stay between them without touching two of them but the whale sharks were just gonna like like pin us through and just keep going so as you can imagine we, between the water going into your snorkel the excitement because of the whale sharks the oh my god the whale shark is gonna touch me and you having to back paddle and the people kicking you in the face and thrashing around we don't know how much footage we got we yeah. don't know even if we got i mean i know that we got footage I don't know if it's good footage. I don't know if we're in the footage because we were just so busy trying to be in the moment and it's such an emotional experience because they are huge. I yeah. did it in Spanish. There's a word that we use like when something overwhelms us and it's like impresionante. Like te impresiona. When you see it there in person, it like takes your breath away. And that's exactly, that's the only word that I could think that has the feeling that I felt after I was there. And you're there for 20 minutes. I thought that it was gonna be a yeah. really fleeting experience, but it's not. It, you're there for the you, full 20 minutes. You're there the full 20 minutes, and it feels like yeah. the full amount of time. It felt longer than 20 minutes. You're just, I, I don't know, I guess you just, your brain's just so overwhelmed. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Totally different perspective. It's okay, thank you yeah. so much. So we ordered Scarbonara. food. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one is carbonara. Perfect. Yeah, it's very good. Wherever. Fish and chips. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Super excited <laughs> for it. We actually came to a place that's right up. So when you leave the whale shark area, it's maybe three minute walk from there. So you can leave your bike parked if that's what you brought. But it's called Cocina de... Not a clue. So it's called Cocina in Acantilado. And we ordered fish and chips, carbonara. My pineapple juice got here. It's freshly squeezed. Yeah. Guys, that was an incredible experience. I could not recommend you more yeah. to do this. Call me. Call me.